Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Hey guys, I'm Graham Nielsen. I'm Kelly. I'm Ariel. I'm Elena. Uh, welcome to COVID Talk. Today we're mainly going to be talking about all of our different experiences prior to, during, and fingers crossed, hopefully after COVID. And I think Marielle, you wanted to uh, yeah, I will get started with the question. Off. So first question I have for you guys is anyone working during this pandemic? Yeah, sadly. <laughs> I'm working. I just, it's a lot of work. Especially like going through school like online, you know, having to work on top of it and the mask mandate. I still have people like coming in. It's what over a year already since we started masks. I work on a Camp Pendleton. It's kind of like a like mm-hmm. a Marine Mart. I all right. Mm-hmm. It's like a CVS. Like that's how I see it. But we sell like tactical gear and stuff on top of like chips and sandwiches. And like I have people fight me every single day I work about wearing a mask. And I was like, oh God. like I don't understand. Like it's been a year. They're like, why yeah. don't I have one? And I was like, okay, then go get it. Like sounds like a <laughs> you yeah. problem. Oh my gosh, no, yeah. I, I work too and I deal with the same thing. And like people mm-hmm. come in and then they're like, they're either like, Oh, like I have a doctor's now and I'm, they don't even show a doctor's now. A year. We, it's been a year you know i'm not i haven't been working i've i've been trying to pretty much avoid going anywhere with a lot of people i wasn't worried about myself getting sick but i was worried um i i live with my parents and they're mainly immunocompromised i was worried that were i to get sick i would potentially spread it to them and they would be in a lot more danger and that fear kept me uh sequestered inside for a good portion of the year like i'd go out and get groceries occasionally and it it's it's so weird it it's still jarring to me even even today to have to stay six feet apart from people yeah. having to be really conscious about what you're wearing or like what kind of mask you're wearing how you're keeping it on like there's people who don't wear their masks above their nose or people who just have it on their chin or whatever it's way more thinking you have to you have to think more about how you act in public than than you used to i feel my roommates were like oh we're moving out three months early like we're going back to the desert like where we live and i was like what like because i don't want to go back to marietta like all those (laughs) anti-maskers like uh uh-uh like i want to stay here in san marcos so it was like a scramble i had to move back three months early to my parents house they're like how like grand like um his parents are like immune compromised so are mine like my parents are diabetics like that type of stuff like they work from home so they're okay but like I'm out here like having to go to work and stuff and like basically bleach down my whole entire body every time I enter the house it was just so bad I was locked in my room every day like until I moved out again because I like couldn't be around them like we had to eat dinner on opposite sides of the table because they just they didn't know like like, if I'm bringing something home from work, considering everybody there refused to wear a mask, they were like, I don't want to get sick like we love you, but, like, don't kill me, you know? That that whole mentality has a serious negative effect on mental health. But this past year, I've been having to, like, talk to my friends nearly every day just to stay sane. Also, it depends on the different stages of COVID because at first I was really scared. I'm still really like stressed about it, but like at first I was really scared and I didn't want to go anywhere. And the first time I went to Walmart, I freaked out and I was so anxious because there's so many people. (laughs) And then uh, after a while, like you get used to it a little bit, but now I'm thinking like, there's no way that once, hopefully this is over I'm not gonna have like PTSD COVID things related like I don't see myself going to a concert anymore I hate to say but I like judge people who wear their masks wrong like I think you're (laughs) gross like I look at you I'm like ew like go away (laughs) I remember there's yeah there's there's one specific business and my partner and I we look at it and we were like 
we never saw people there and we, we felt bad but then the owner never wears their mask and then I told them I was like you know what I don't feel bad anymore because it's been a year she knows how to wear it she chooses yeah. not to <laughs> it's so weird it's sort of like a stigma almost. People are more consciously like judging people who aren't wearing masks or those who don't wear masks are judging people who wear masks. I mean, before before COVID, I'd say like, you didn't go to a place and and look at all the people there and say, oh, gross, I don't want to be here because there's right. all of these people. But now, now we think that and... That's just such a radical change. It, it's so funny because I just moved here. Like I moved here during the pandemic and I don't know anybody besides my housemates and my partner and that's it. And and then I was like, I want to make friends. So then we would go to like apps and stuff. And then we were like, it's kind of helpful a little bit because now we like, I know if you are anti-masker, I don't want to be your friend. <laughs> Do you think that the pandemic has made you connect more with others or has made you feel more distant? It's kind of 50-50. I mean, if the person is down to, you know, stay in contact, then it like, I think in a way it kind of like improves, makes your connection better if you could still like connect with someone. But obviously if the pandemic affected your relationship, then it just wasn't a good thing. It makes you realize how reciprocal some of your most important important relationships are exactly. because the people who don't want to put in the effort to keep in contact with you you just you you've drifted away from yeah I mean it sucks but like shows you like who actually like cares to like keep in contact with you and it's kind of eye-opening but it kind of does suck losing friends or it's definitely I see it as like one of those things kind of like when you transition from high school to college like mm-hmm. or like you know like in your career path time you realize that you only talk to these people. Like I realized that a lot this past year. I only talked to you because I had class with you or like we had the same major. Like yeah. that's only reason I'm social with you. I definitely agree. Like the whole 50-50 thing um, we mentioned earlier. Like I feel like I felt so disconnected in like the school and like everything I was doing that I pushed myself to be more involved. Sometimes it works out for the better, you know? Yeah, I met my partner during the pandemic. Oh, <laughs> wow, twins. Yeah. Hey, good for you guys. <laughs> we started dating um, online and then it was in person when I moved here. I told them, I was like, I feel more connected with you than with people that I used to see every day, which is really interesting. There's two sides to the coin. One, yeah. one being fairly tragic, the other being somewhat hopeful. Honestly, I gotta just try to relax. My advice is probably try to just stay positive. Try to make the most of what you have. Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> My advice would be try to stay connected with the people that you love. Be respectful of others because you never know who's going to be in you know, compromise. So even if you don't want to take precautions, just wear your mask. It's not that hard. I like that advice, Kelly. <laughs> Taking a yoga class, highly recommend. It's a one-week <laughs> course. Yes, girl. Nice. So yeah, that was awesome, guys. Woo! Fantastic points from everybody. Yeah, <laughs> claps all around. <laughs> yeah, thanks. thanks for coming. I think that's it. <laughs> I think that's All right. it. Okay. All right. Yeah. You guys have a good Bye. day. Awesome. Bye. You guys too. Bye. Bye. Bye.